okay key of d the tune is liberty fun little tune goes like this try to do today which you won't hear in all claw hammer banjo tunes is to do some pickup notes pickup notes is uh, most often like two or three notes that lead you into the melody um, that is something the fiddler usually does that's really not our job as banjo players uh, well if we can do it then by all means we should do it uh, but uh, most often uh, it's going to be hard because it's like it's I think it's eight eight notes uh, and uh, but in this it, like you don't really have them easy accessible uh, for a bum ditty or a drop thumb but in this case we do so we can do the two pickup notes that sound like you know you hear how they lead us into the melody otherwise we could just go but in this case we go and how we do this uh, is we do a drop thumb on the fifth fret um, one two three four five and we fret the first and the second string at the fifth fret and then we do the drop thumb so all in all you got and then we get into the melody forget the thumb in between da, 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 da. but here is the thing because the melody is do, 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 do. that's what the mandolin player or the fiddle player would do we can't really do that because we would have to and we we're gonna break the drop thumb pattern so we can't do that we could do uh, yeah we, there's variants to do that do, 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 do. That's, that's gonna break our rhythm so we have to simplify just that phrase by doing da, 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 da. that works just fine da, 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 da. you can do a bum dee there da, 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 da. you pull off and you hammer on straight away da, 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 da. not hammer on well you you da, da. and now we go to our fourth chord for the second phrase and we only do that for two measures one, two, two beats so phrase the melody you want to hammer on the uh, or sorry strike the third string on the second fret there that's a good exercise to uh, be able to control your right hand so you hit exactly the string that you want without hitting any other strings or you can do when you play by yourself, you might want to go with the chord because you fill out the sound more. Uh, you can have all the strings ringing. If you would play with a guitar player, you wouldn't have to do that because like, the guitar will fill out the chord spacings. So you would go for that uh, third string there. But um, And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our um, middle 
middle finger on the third fret of uh, first string and the fourth fret second string and we're gonna do a drop tone there and now we're gonna use the fifth string in the melodic context because that's that's not just gonna be our drone that's also gonna be a, a, a very important note so do this uh, and uh, play open for a string so It's the same shape as we did, but we're just gonna go ahead and do the um, check out the Rock the Cradle Joe video. Uh, I, I explained this lick a little more uh, in depth there. I think it's somewhere in the middle, middle of that video. So so far we got our pickup notes. One, two, three, four. Yourself twice that's the a part and now for the b part it's really easy um, it's uh uh, b part starts on a open fourth uh, sorry third string If you're comfortable with syncopation, uh, then by all means do it like this way. Um, you, uh, uh, yeah, run the uh, the third string open, and then when you get to that, you drop your thumb to the fourth string, and then you immediately put down your um, ring finger on the fourth fret uh, on it so you get the yeah. but if you're not you can just go ahead and play works just as fine string open and the third string open and then we ended off with a uh, so uh, fret the fourth uh, sorry first string second fret pull up pull up sorry and then open second second phrase third chord uh, sorry fifth chord um, the, the A chord here so and then we do the same thing again and then we ended up with the ending leg you want so that's basically liberty uh listen to the tune a whole bunch of times so you get familiar with the melody and uh you know uh experiment and uh if like the most important thing when playing a fiddle tune on the banjo is to be comfortable 
uh, I was advised when I started playing, like try to cut out as many hammer-ons you can and try to replace it with drop thumbs or whatever, because you're going to get a more fluid, fluent sound out of your banjo instead of, you can, you know, and like take out some notes if, if you're not comfortable with what you're doing. Um, uh, it's, no one's going to get hurt if you do that. So yeah, this is Liberty. I'm gonna play it through just once uh, more, uh, so you can, if you want to, like slow it down or something with the little cogwheel button there. If you want to hear my take on it, Liberty. <laughs> Great day.